What is going on you guys, it is your boy Omzi here, back with One Punch Man episode 10, coming off one hell of an episode and possibly so far maybe the best episode in season one so far with everything that happened last episode with obviously Moon Man Rider, honestly having a kind of episode stealing performance might I say, like he was really really good and definitely was not expecting everything that came with that character and honestly felt very very sympathetic towards that. We saw Genos have possibly the best looking animation in the show so far oh my god i've been saying that probably ever since the show's even started and obviously we have with what saitama eventually did and how he acted and now how he's going to be going forward with that character and i'm down for it i'm down for it and i just love how he's able to say whatever like comes to mind and honestly he just shows so much light onto the other heroes even though he knows in himself that he could just get work done just out of the way just quick and easy but it really kind of can benefit him anymore now that so far the public sees him as a jackass and a jerk from like painting like oh taking everybody's like everybody's credit or whatever so it's really good what Saitama is doing I really really love that for the character but I am so excited to see how the first season of this show ends and yes I have been hearing it from left to right about season two where the animation is a downgrade but the story definitely gets better so i'm all for it let's just see what happens but with that being said let's get straight into it if you guys are new to the channel just like my reaction like subscribe comment down below you guys want to be notified on when we release those videos definitely smash the notification bell but with that being said let's get right into the episode keep forgetting we did get a tease of that kind of psychic that was honestly predicting the end of the world saw the end of the world i have no idea but let's see if it factors in what the fuck was that? Long have I awaited this moment, human pilgrim. With the subterranean and deep sea kings gone, the terror lizard clan can at last The terror lizard clan? The, the hell is this overlord with all the lizard people? Any of the overlord people, you know what I'm talking about. We'll be on top of Bravo very soon. Is that... Is that, um... Tornado? It is! And who are you? Huh? What is it? Huh? What do you mean, come back? Uh, You're the one who said some weirdo monster was waking up and flew me out here! Are you serious? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was just about to start. I am the ancient king. Trouble? So what? That is she has... Oh my god. <laughs> Shut your snout! Can't you see I'm talking on the phone here? Bruh. Oh god. Are you done? What's with the chin? What's with the chin? Let's see what this girl has. She's quick. So you aren't helpless. But to destroy me, a giant meteor is about the only thing that's strong enough. Fine. I'll get one of those then. Don't make me laugh. Honestly, I'm thinking maybe with her power, with being tornado, she probably could. Oh, she was definitely not lying. Holy sh... Easy work. Easy fucking work. Oh, it's this dude again. We didn't really get to see this technique because Genos left. A sales pitch? What I seek to learn is not the art of self-defense, but total destructive power. You punks! Mocking our fighting style? I, the top disciple Taranko, challenge you! Oh! I, I give up! You don't want to go against a cyborg, my dude. really your best student? Well, one of my best disciples went wild. He beat my most skilled students so badly they're all out of commission. The rest got mm. scared and quit. Understandable. Garo. Even though he was my top disciple at the time, I gave him a good beating and expelled him. Here we go. Charanko, look after the dojo. Be careful, master. All right. Are being summoned. Then they may need your assistance as well, master. Hell yeah, you can rank. Well, I mean, you are rank B now. I will. Nothing better to do. <laughs> ah, hey there, Silver Fang. Atomic Samurai. It's been too long. Hmm. I figured you'd be here 
today. And this is the cyborg Genos, and hold on. Hold on. You. This is the Class B hero Saitama. His great talents will surely place him atop Class S one day, so we ask him to come. Oh, hey there, middle-aged hero, dude. Hey there, nice middle-aged. No Ooh. handshake for you. I only acknowledge the strong. But someday, once you've climbed up to Class S, I'll greet you properly. Besides, I'm not middle-aged yet. <laughs> I'm not middle-aged yet. You just, you just gave this dude so much motivation now. I had no idea. Hey, who brought a Class B no oh. along? Oh. Tornado's about to talk so much shit. Probably just here to get close to us class S heroes. You disgust me. Get lost. Look at look this lost child. This lost child. Hello everybody at the table. We got a huge ass meeting. All right. Literally she looks like a kid. Okay. Metal bat. Flashy flash. Watch dog man. Not dog dog man a little bit. Super alloy black black luster. I almost wanted to say black buster. <laughs> Pig God, Drive Knight. I like his look. His looks kinda cool. Zombie man. King, alright. Metal Knight, obviously he's absent. Child Emperor. Rank two. I was doing and was kept waiting for over two hours. Sucks to suck. Blast. Absent. Can I have some tea? Can I have some tea? I love how he's the head of the table. I My like apologies. it. I was delayed. We're asking you to rise to the occasion and save the earth. However, I must warn you that even with your class S skill, there is no guarantee of survival. Walking away also takes courage. Anybody choosing to do so now will still retain class S status. I doubt anybody's gonna get up. Those of you who stay and hear me out will not be allowed to walk away from this briefing. Look, buddy. Whatever's going on around here, it better be worth calling all of us. I skipped out on my little sister's piano recital for this. She'll be crushed. If it's a total load of crap, then I'm gonna tear this whole building apart. <laughs> <laughs> like you could do that with that skinny stick anyway. Ooh. Yeah? How about I bust your head open instead? If you think you can do it, bring it on, stupid pill bug head! God, she's so toxic, Jesus Christ. Mr. Pompadour over here is going to die. Hey, Bobby Pit, you siding with the girls? What's your problem? The great seer known as Madame Shibabua is dead. Wait, Madame Shibabua? Oh, that was quick from the last post credit scene. While looking into the future for the next six months, she became agitated and had a bad coughing fit. She huh. popped a cough drop in her mouth to ease her discomfort, and unfortunately ended up choking on it. Oh. I get it. So we have to figure out some. I thought it was a legit death. Are you serious? Conditions. I hold in my hand her last and perhaps greatest prophecy. Hmm. As she took her last breaths, choking on that cough drop, she managed to leave this note. It's so hilarious. It is a grave prediction that will absolutely come to pass. Here it is. Can you read it? The Earth is in trouble. Like it is every, almost every day. Are you kidding? That is so dumb. Something more dangerous than a dragon level cataclysm or monster is on its way. Of that we can be sure. And it will occur sometime in the next six months. It's probably going to be tomorrow. <laughs> maybe, maybe be tomorrow. Does that mean you have no idea when in the next six months? Exactly. Yeah, it's kind of hard to plan for that. Yes, your observations are correct. But I want you all to be ready for a fight in the next six months. Is that understood? This sounds the ridiculous. Next six months means that it could be tomorrow or it, even today. Exactly. Uh, yes, that's yes. Who are you anyway? <laughs> it's a good thing I came. <laughs> <laughs> Was he right? Wait, that's impossible. This is the Hero Association headquarters. <laughs> yeah, and one hell of a freaking wait. Damn. Is that that vulture dude? Oh no, I, I forgot. Wasn't he like in space or I don't know. Like, 
Hearts. It's like a mix of like Vulture and Green Goblin a little bit. What? Oh. What was that? Oh. No, it flew, so we killed it. Oh. Good duty to protect the okay. Okay, what is this? What the hell is this? Some like independent station? <laughs> what the? Impossible. What? Oh, God. Oh shit. It appears there are survivors. The ship failed to kill them all. We won't. That is good. Who's gonna come in for the save? Get away from here. Right oh. Now. Is that is that is that Metal Knight, I assume? Oh You think I don't sense your thirst for blood? I was thinking, did he get out of that? Oh. Oh, nice. Metal Knight was given the assignment to construct this building. His cutting edge specs are why it's stronger than the average shelter. Ah, so that's why there are no windows. Go outside and see what's going on for ourselves, just to be sure the prophecy. Let me guess, the lollipop gives him his power. <laughs> Saitama already out of this thing. He already flew straight through. That's big. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Damn! So that's what blew oh, well. Wow. Oh, oh, Lord, this is going to be nuts. I've had enough. Get lost. Damn. I didn't even know he lost an arm. I thought it just scraped him. Is that Genos? Master. Oh. Hmm. Atomic Samurai. I was thinking I saw a blue strike. Oh, God. It's nice. But it's not gonna hold. You got friends in that floating toy ship thing, right? Yeah, that's it. I doubt you have the strength or the power to cause this much destruction to the city by yourself. You can count us in. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's see what the S ranks have in store. Wow, he actually took the Sea King's advice. Nice. Any ideas? You're one of the top five as a class S King, so I'd love to hear your take on this. King, class S rank seven, said to be the strongest man on Earth, and I see that he is well respected by the other heroes. Yeah. There's nothing I can do here. Really? It's too high in the sky. There's no way to attack it. Well, forget it. I'll just take care of these creeps myself. Wait, I will go too. I do not know how effective I can be, but I will attack the Please enemy give me more right. Genos. Please give me more Genos. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said forget about it, okay? Whoa, take it easy there, Genos. I know how you feel, but if you piss her off, she will kill you. Very well. There is no need to team up with others anyway. Oh. Screw him. I was about to say, where the hell is Saitama? Saitama's probably already in the damn ship. He's already in there. Well done making it this far, intruder. But you have reached the end. For I am very boss, and there is no way you can hope to defeat me. My acid breath went into a pile of fleshy pulp. Oh, my God. 
This ship is gonna be taken down within a couple seconds. Huh. You'd think the boss would have shown his face by now. Yeah, if you knew his ship was getting wrecked. Why does this look like a throne from Overlord? Ooh. Kinda like the look of that. Okay, episode is over. We have an alien invasion with all the S rank heroes. Let's go! <laughs> okay, not bad to have a season finale which starting out with this. So honestly, I think this is probably how it's going to end. And I can definitely see a lot of interesting animation so far. Like already Saitama is already really, really good this episode. But with a lot of elements going on for at least the next two episodes... This animation, man. You guys are saying it's really good. Let's see if it holds up. Thank you guys for watching my reaction. You guys are excited for the season finale of season one of One Punch Man. And you guys like the channel. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And as always, my name is Omzi and I am out.